Alright, so opening day of quail season, Texas 2020. Uh, I'm going to put the boots on my dogs, get them ready to go out in the field. So I'm going to show you guys how, to, how I do that and some of the lessons I've learned. So I'm using the Lewis dog boots, the best boots uh, I've found for running dogs in the field out here in West Texas, lots of grass burrs. So uh, things you're going to need are the right boots, some sports tape, and what I use is some Gorilla duct tape. So you can zoom in here. First thing I do is take about a six inch piece, six, eight inch piece of duct tape for each one of the dog's feet. So I got each one of their feet. And this is gonna be a piece that goes around each one of the shanks of their feet. So it doesn't take a lot because this first piece, you're gonna really just get onto their shank. So it just needs to go around their leg once. Whoops. So Gorilla Tape I found works the best. So I put that out there. Now on the Brittany, his front shank's so short that I'll end up, end up uh, splitting a piece of this tape. It'll be a little too tall for his front shanks, but the gold in there, he's, he's got those long shanks front and back. So I'll be able to leave the tape all the way full width. So, on this front what I do is I go ahead and take this six or eight inches piece and I'll just take about a I don't know a quarter of it off this goes right around his front shank right here up under his front pad not tight it's got to be really loose and what this does is give an adhesive surface for the boot to stick onto and you want it as smooth as possible because gonna be running on this and it'd be perfect but it does need to spin so you don't want to cut any um, any circulation off. The thing I learned about this is you don't want the tape to hit his rear his heel pad there on the front that will wear a blister on him so that's why I cut this down again about a quarter of the size. Come here Tex. Hold still. He knows what's up. Hold still. You notice he's fixing to get these boots on. He's going to get turned loose. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that, you want it a little smoother than that. So he doesn't catch a blister right there. Alright, so it spins. See? Okay. Stand up. Oh, rear shank. You got that full full length of the shank right here. So again, nice and smooth as possible. This is the hardest part about these boots is getting this tape face out as smooth as possible, not tight for him ready to These rear shanks are a lot easier. Roll it around. All right. So once you got that, then you're ready to put these on. Size is real important. Get these guys the right size shoes. So for Tex, he's a Brittany. I got him in mediums. Cowboy he's Golden, he's in uh, largest. So what you end up doing is the back piece of the boot you have to cut to go up under his his heel. Make sure these things are good and clean as you put them on him. And they'll get used to it. This is first time for the season, so he's a little bit tentative, but as the season goes on, he gets pretty excited. So once you get him his foot down in there all the way, you just kind of squeeze that right up under his heel shank and right to the tape okay so that boots on there think there's other size and also make sure you got their toenails trimmed right you get them in here with some long toenails they're going to get kind of aggravated so again that rear piece has got to go up under his heel pads so you got to trim that right and then he's got to get set up here. 
and kind of square on his feet so he runs on him good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, what I'll do is go ahead and finish Texas front ones and then we'll stop and I'll show you how to do the rest of them. Or I'll show you when we get the rest of them on. So the next thing is it's really two steps. It's securing the boot to his feet. So this takes probably close to a foot. And it's also to close up, if you can see right here, there's there's gonna be a gap. So one of the lessons I've learned is if you don't close that gap up, good, he's gonna get a lot of trash down in there. So this is one, this piece of tape's a little longer. So basically it's, it's not too tight, but what you're doing is closing that gap uh, of the boot to that back tape, keeping this under his pad. And this, if you do it right, should end up closing up the side gap. So see how I overlap both side gaps? So he's not gonna get a lot of trash down in there. So under his heel pad, that's even actually probably a little too tight, but he'll be all right. We're not gonna run that long today. And then both gaps are closed up, okay? Right. These are the best boots that I found that stay on the dogs. Uh, let them run longer. And then uh, keep them from getting sore feet. Out here in West Texas, a lot of grass burrs. So you can see right there, I got that to where the hole is still exposed. So what I'll do is I'll close that up with just another patch of this Gorilla Tape. This Gorilla Tape is so sticky, it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay on there. All right, so he's good. And what keeps those on his feet is that inside tape. All right, so rear boots, you don't cut these. Both of them are the same height. Put his rear feet in there and he didn't have a that rear pad to have to deal with. So close that up nice and square. Gonna get the front edge, back edge looking like it belongs on his foot. And about a 12 inch piece of tape. Just secure that against the against the uh, inside tape right there. And close up that that split. So again I got that. Outside split covered, it's all nice and tight. Got that inside split showing, so I'm gonna cover that with another just small piece of tape. Otherwise, he'll get sticks. And lesson I learned is that, especially when he gets wet, gets a lot of sediment in there. You know, a lot of junk gets in this boot. All right, last one for Texas. Huh. Well, you'll get good at this after season. Again, this opening day, I've done this all year. Kind of doing this a whole lot of times. You don't use a good quality tape. Um, they'll either sweat, uh, run it off where it just lets go because they're flexing so much, or it'll get wet and. It'll drop off. I've lost a lot of boots just using bad tape. All right, there's Texas. Now he's ready to go. I'll edit all these. Stay. All right. And here's the difference with Cowboy. He's got his dew claws. So his dew claws are always tricky with his front boots. So what I do with the sports tape is first put a nice light I mean, this is just barely on there. Piece of sports tape to get that dew claw to stay, stay flat. And there's nothing special about this particular sports tape. You just want something that's gonna keep that dew claw down. It's about 500 bucks get adult dew claws removed, so I ain't paying that. All right, and then it's back to the same process. So the sink on this golden is big enough to where he can take the full width of tape. Again, this is just nice and loose. Nothing special about it. This is what's gonna hold this front, 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 front boot, boot on. Now what I've done on this one, another lesson is I went ahead and cleared out a space right here for his dew claw. So these not only go to his front, but there's a certain side for, for cowboy. Cowboys wearing a large size in these Lewis boots. And honestly, they're a little small. 
probably could do a large, but then he would have lots of slack. So medium is about the best I've seen so far. Again, the backside's got to be under his pad. Now we got his dew cloths down there. And now I'm just going to secure it. Eventually these guys will know this this means fun. You gotta get get that pad clear back there. So when you get tape and stuff on it, you want that pad clear. Again, that, that side slot slit, whatever you call it, needs to be covered up so he doesn't get a bunch of sticks and junk in there. Alright. Alright, another one. Now we're gonna get the colors on. And this inside tape's got to be real loose, so it, it should spin like that when you're done with it, when, you, when it's on. Inside slip for his dew claw. Work his big old foot down in there. Get in there, boy. Well, this means we get to go running. And make sure that thing's facing forward. All right. And now I got an open slit on both sides. I'm gonna have to Alright, so kind of clean his pad up to make sure everything's under his pad. I got that little tall. You kind of pull the hair off the tape and get that to where it's good. Alright, send him. Stay. These rear shanks are a lot easier. You can deal with all the new claws. And Tape spins. I'm gonna cut off his circulation. And that closes right up. And honestly, that's that's with this gorilla tape. That's about as secure as it's gonna get. Just with that. So closing this up like here. I don't put a lot of pressure on these. He doesn't need the person to take cutting off his blood to his feet. Alright, one more. This is probably more like 16 inches of tape for a cowboy. So I can get it all the way around those two slots right there. Perfect. They don't worry about pretty. All right, stay. All right, that's it. Lewis Dog Boots, made in America. Made right there in Oklahoma.